Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, my beautiful brothers and my beautiful sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are well. I hope that your day is going fantastic in the Lord today. So listen, guys, I'm back on here today. Um, and I know you guys are looking at this scarf that's on my head. I don't typically do this, but I'm doing this because, well, I was lazy and I decided that I didn't want to do anything to my head today. So I put this scarf on. I also wanted to point this out and clarify this because I have a perception about head coverings. Um, and so I don't want you guys to think that I'm putting this on my head because I'm prophesying. Okay. So that's another whole story. If you guys want to get more input on how I feel about head coverings, I actually did a podcast. Our podcast is called Prophetic Meat. And I actually have a, um, playlist that you guys can visit. And one of the controversial topics that we discussed in there was head coverings. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that I don't have this on here because I'm going to prophesy, but I have it on because I'm just lazy and I haven't done anything with my head. So anyway, guys, I have something that I want to bring to the table to you guys today. This is something that the Lord has given to me in the last 48 hours, um, and it's very um, significant. It's, it's, it's important that you know this. It's going to encourage you. And this word is also associated with the previous word that I just gave you guys on the um, position of prominence, okay? So what God is saying in this particular moment in time is that your manifestations are coming. Your manifestations are coming, 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 coming. And God wants you to look for the signs. He wants you to look for three signs is what he's given me. And there may be more, but the Lord only gave me three signs. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay. So, so, so guys, the Lord um, wants you all to stay focused on him in this hour. Um, God wants to keep you in the, in the loop of things. He wants you to know what's going on in the earth. He wants you to pay attention to what he's doing and how he's doing it and why he's doing it, okay? And so he's using me to help you guys stay focused on him, to stay focused on what he promised you, to stay focused on the plan for your life, to stay focused on those things that he wants you to accomplish during this time, okay? And so the Lord is using me to, to, to issue a series of messages, not only to give you forecast, to give you foresight, to give you insight, to tell you what's happening in the earth as it relates to the weather and the shaking and all that. But he also wants you to be focused on you. He wants to focus on you strengthening yourself, being encouraged. Hallelujah. He wants you to live with joy and peace, and he wants you to have access to those things that, um, are available to you because you know him, because he's Jesus Christ, because he's your Lord, your Savior, your Father, your Alpha, your Omega, hallelujah. And so that is my job in this hour is to spend time with you guys and to walk with you, um, walk with you with this walk with Christ, right? Until we get into the kingdom of heaven. That is what the mission of Shanika Byers United for Christ is, is that we're going to walk this thing until the kingdom of heaven arise. it arrives. Hallelujah. Okay. So these three signs um, that I'm getting ready to speak to you guys about are what the Lord had given to me. And I'm going to give them to you the way um, he gave them to me. Okay. Um, God wants you to know that the manifestations are coming. The manifestations are coming. Hallelujah. And so the first sign that the Lord is saying, that's going to indicate that the manifestations are coming is what you perceive to be opposition. God is saying that you all are experiencing opposition and there are obstacles that are in your way and you're perceiving them as thinking that the devil, hallelujah, is succeeding at sabotaging your future. God is saying that you think that it is the devil that is disrupting your family. God is saying that you think that it is the devil that is wreaking havoc on your health that the devil is stealing your promises, hallelujah, or just the enemy is just simply trying to make your life miserable, right? Many of you are probably thinking that right now, but, but, but God is saying that 
even though it is the devil's job, even though it is Satan's job to still kill and destroy, okay? This is not what is currently happening for the righteous. Let me say this again. God is saying that even though it is the enemy's job to steal, kill, and destroy, this is not what is happening for the righteous in this moment in time. The Lord is saying that the opposition that you are currently facing is what he will call a faith test. Jesus. God is saying that the righteous are undergoing a faith test, meaning that God is allowing things to transpire in your life because he wants you to be tested. God wants to see your heart. Um, God wants to see where your heart truly is for him. God wants to see if you, um, if you're actually ready for the promise that he wants to give you. Um, God wants to make sure that you're strong enough to handle what it is that he's getting ready to release in your life, okay? God wants to make sure that you are ready for what he has prepared for you, hallelujah, moving forward. And so God is saying that the opposition that you are currently experiencing is intentional by him. He is the one that is allowing it. He is the one that is strategically allowing for certain things to take place. And then he's pushing other things back because he ultimately wants to see how you are going to respond to the situation. God wants to know how are you going to determine what to do next based off of what you're going through. He's doing this because the opportunity that he has for you, hallelujah, the promise, the blessing, hallelujah, the opportunity that he has for you, you have to be able to be in the situation that you're in because it's going to be similar or in situations and you're going to have to be able to make a decision that is pleasing to him. You're going to have to be able to make a decision that is right. You're going to have to be able to make a decision that is going to, 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 to counteract and bring forth righteousness in the situation. Hallelujah. Okay. And so I hear God say, give them an example. So, so let's, let's, let's use this as an example. Let's talk about, um, a situation that maybe you're going through right now. Maybe you're facing a situation. Um, and God and, 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 and God is saying the scenario that we're going to use, the example that we're going to use, we're going to see how you're handling the situation. So let's just say, hypothetically, right, that maybe you're, um, some of you have been laid off, um, you must, laid off your job, and you've been laid off without pay. Okay, during this time of crisis. So the question that God will have for you right now, child of God, is are you utilizing the resources that he has given you in this time of crisis, right? Or are you getting angry or and, and backlashing and taking it out on other people? Another question in this situation would be, well, are you making use of what you have to survive, even though it's not what you want? right? Or are you complaining? Or are you expecting for something else because you don't like it? I hear Holy Spirit say, ask them, are you um, reaching out and, and, and taking advantage of free resources? You know, there's a lot of free resources that are available to us during this time, right? Are you, are you, are you reaching out to people and not fearing, you know, what they think about you, right? Or are you just Hardening, hardening your heart um, and, and, and being of an, in position of, of, of feeling like you don't need no help from nobody. So you would much rather suffer in your situation rather to, than to ask for help. OK, I hear God saying, are you making do with what you have with a thankful heart? Or are you feeling some type of way? Or are you mad and you feel like you should have more? Hallelujah. I hear God saying, ask them, do they trust me? Do you trust that God is going to make provision for you in this hour? Are you trusting that God is going to do what he said he was going to do, even though you can't see it? 
Or are you just downright have given up and you don't want to fight? Which one is it? Okay. And, and, and I also hear God saying, tell them this, ask them this. Are you helping others during this time? Are you helping others that are in need, right? Even though you yourself don't have the time, you don't have the money, you don't have the resources, okay? You don't even have the means for yourself. Are you doing those things in this time? Hallelujah. The Bible tells us, guys, in 2 Corinthians, um, I believe it's chapter 9, verses 6 through 8 something like that. It says, whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Um, and God requires that each one of us give what we have, okay, with our with our hearts to give um, with without being reluctant, um, to give without being under compulsion, to give um, because you're doing it for God and you're doing it with love and you're doing it with cheer. Hallelujah. And when we do those things, God blesses us abundantly. That means that God will make sure that you have every single thing that you need when you give generously. Okay. All right. And so that is what the expectation is in this hour, guys, as you are facing the opposition. God wants you to know that the opposition for the righteous is not the enemy destroying you but it is God that is allowing for it to happen to you so that he can see how you respond okay so that is the first sign that the Lord gave me that he says will indicate that your that is indicating that your manifestation is coming your manifestation is coming your manifestation is on the way okay so now guys the second sign that God gave me and remember, this sign right here is what we talked about in the previous video of prominence, the position of prominence video. You have no apparent control over your circumstances. That is the second sign. Your situation is out of your control, okay? You have no control over anything at this point in time. Um, you, you, you you have no control and everything just kind of looks like chaos. Things look disorganized. It feels like you have no freedom. Um, it feels like it, it, this, the situation that you're dealing with is making you feel weak and weary. Um, it just feels like you 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 have no say so. Hallelujah. It, it, uh, we talked about um, Joseph. It feels like you're in a prison. Hallelujah, and you can't get out of the prison. The situation looks like this: the 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 the, the coronavirus. The coronavirus that we're dealing with right now. Um, we don't have any control over how it's being spread. We're still trying to figure out a cure for the virus. It's kind of like that, right? So, guys. The Lord is saying in that is that as believers, we should not be looking at it in that context. As believers, because we know who God is, because we know that God is almighty, hallelujah, because we know that God is the alpha and the omega, because we know that God knows the beginning to the end and the end to the beginning, right? We know that God has complete and total control over the earth. He has complete and total control over every action that happens in the earth. He, he has complete and total control over every person in the earth. Amen. And so we know that all things, all things have to go through the approval of our Lord and Savior. And we know that if anything, with anything, God is going to get the glory in everything. So guys, with us knowing that, right, as believers, us knowing that God is in control, then we should be assured that the manifestation is coming. Why? Because God has to stand on his promises, right? The Bible tells us that the Bible implies that in Isaiah 55, 11, that God has to honor his word. God cannot lie. God's words cannot come back void. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here, guys, we can see that the second sign indicates that our manifestations are coming. 
Our manifestations are coming. Why? Because God is in complete control. Even though we have no control over the situation, God has control over all things. Hallelujah. And so with that being said, we know, right? We know that 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 the manifestation has no choice but to come. Hallelujah. Okay? So guys, let's get to the third one. I'm sorry about that. My phone just started ringing, y'all. The third sign. The third sign. The third sign. This is the third and final sign. The third sign is that God gave you something, okay? Um, God is saying that he's given you dreams. He's given you visions. He's given you ideas. We talked about this too in the past. Um, and he's given you um, um, confirmation um, through prayer and he's given you unctions in your spirit, okay? And God is saying that through those dreams, through those visions, through those ideas, he has given you... Um, reassurance that the manifestations are coming because this is a way that God communicates with us, okay? God communicates with, with us in these ways to help us see where what his will is for our lives, right? And where he wants us to go and how he wants to see things end up, okay? So God is saying that during this time of stillness, all right? During this time of isolation, during this time of 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 of, of um, uh, quarantine is what they will call it. God is saying that many of you have been led to revisit your dreams, your ideas, and your visions because you've been prompted by Him to do it because. It is his sign that the manifestation is coming. And then you guys also remember that um, I recorded a video called Payback in a Word from 2018, which also encouraged you guys to revisit your dreams and your visions and your ideas. And, and I'll link that video to this one. Um, this is the sign. God is saying that these are the two ways that he has been prompting you um, in this hour to pay attention to your actions, um, pay attention to the to, to, to what's happening around you. God is saying that your ear um, should be listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit. You should be hearing more from the Holy Spirit more than anything during this time. Why? Because this is the time that he's asking all of you should be spending more time with him. You should be reading your Bible more. You should be fasting. You should be praising him. And so God is saying that many of the things that you're going to hear from him, outside of the visions and the dreams is the is the, is the holy spirit placing that unction in your spirit letting you know okay child of god this is coming this is on the way it's uh, prompting you to remember those things that you've seen before prompting you to to go back to those specific dreams um to go back to those specific prayers um to go back to that woman of God or that man of God that you've spoken to in the past concerning your life circumstances, God is saying that he's been prompting you to do that in this hour. And he's saying that this is the third sign. He's saying that this is the sign that he needs for you to understand is linked to the manifestation. God is saying that your manifestations are coming. And for many of you with the manifestations is going to come that, that, that position of prominence that we talked about in the previous video, okay? All this is tied into to, 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 together, okay? So God wants you to be excited. God wants you to be encouraged in this hour and know that this is not an hour of darkness for the righteous. This is an hour of light for us. This is an hour for us to get ourselves together. This is a, this is an hour for us to hear better from the Lord. This is an hour for us to, to cleanse our hearts and our minds, to repent in those areas where we fall short. Hallelujah. To, 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 um, this is a time for us to seek deep what our needs and what our desires are. Hallelujah. To examine our own minds and our thoughts and our processes. Hallelujah. To pay attention attention to our families and our spouses and the things that are around us and also to examine 
how really um, blessed we really are to have those things that we have. We, we're waking up out of our beds at night. We're eating. We have shelter. We have clothes on our backs. Hallelujah. All right. And so this is the time that the Lord is saying that you need to be paying attention to all of these things. And when you have a gratefulness in this, you will begin to see the signs of the manifestation. So God is asking you all to, to, to sit tight, to continue to do what you're doing. God is saying that after all of this is said and done, the manifestations will be coming. And many of you are going to receive manifestations even in the stillness. I know I have. There's a few things that have come my way that I have not expected, guys. And so God is going to surprise you. There are going to be some suddenlies. There's going to be some things that are going to come your way that you did not expect to see, okay? So so, so, so be hopeful, okay? Uh, be grateful, hallelujah. Be expectant. Trust God. Maintain your faith, okay? Maintain your faith. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise and worship the Lord. Let him know that you are thankful. Give thanks for the blessing that you have not yet received, but it is to come by way of manifestation. Hallelujah. Your manifestations are coming. You hear me? I need you guys to hear this. So listen. I hope this word brings you joy to your heart as it did for me. Um, I'm really excited about what, what, what God is getting ready to do. I'm excited about the things that are getting ready to come to you and my family during this crisis. And I hope that you all will anticipate what God has for you too, okay? So please share this word, guys. Share this word with someone that you love or that you think needs to hear it, all right? Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. Um, I love you guys. I love, love, love you guys. And I want you to have a great, great day, okay? All right, bye.